Hey there, Tamara here with Razzle Dazzle Life. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Today we are going to be making an easy and delicious red beans and rice recipe. It's going to be the last one that you ever want and ever need, I promise. Let's get into it. First thing first, you're going to want to grab all of your ingredients. You're going to need the Holy Trinity, which is bell pepper, onion, and celery. You're going to need some red kidney beans. Here we use some dry beans. I have some smoked neck bones and a beef smoked sausage. Then you're going to want to prep your celery. So cut the end off of the celery. You can cut both ends, just trim the end a little bit. Then you're going to cut the celery right down the ribs into little tiny strips so that we can get some diced celery going. Once you cut it into thin strips, you're going to then just dice it up like so. You want to have a fine dice on the celery. We don't want big, huge chunks of celery in our red beans and rice. Cutting it into thin strips first really helps to get that fine dice that we're looking for, so make sure that you don't skip that step. It'll make your life so much easier. Once you get that first one chopped up, you're going to go ahead and put it aside in a bowl, then get started on your next stock of celery. For this recipe, we only use two stalks. Feel free if you're going to reduce the recipe to use one stalk, or if you're going to make it larger, go ahead and use three or four stalks of celery. So repeat the same steps, cut, cut straight down the rib into small thin slices, then you're going to turn it on the side and dice it up real fine like so. And we'll go ahead and speed this process up because it's the same thing. You're just dicing the celery nice and small, put it to the side. Then we're going to get going on our bell pepper. We want to take the seeds and the stem out of the bell pepper. So I like to cut straight around that like so. Be careful not to cut yourself. If it's easier for you, cut it straight down the middle and then just remove the seeds and the core with your hand. Once you get that core and the seeds removed, you're going to cut the bell pepper into thin strips like I'm doing here. And we're not even going to use the entire bell pepper, but I'm going to go ahead and cut and prep this because I can put it in the refrigerator and use it later. So once you get them cut into thin strips, you're going to turn it on the side and then dice it up very small, just like we did the celery. Once you cut your veg veggies into thin strips, it makes it so much easier to get a fine dice on them, which is what we're looking for here. So go ahead and put those bell peppers right in the bowl with the celery and set that to the side. Then I'm going to take the other half of the bell pepper and just put it in a little plastic baggie so that I can store it in the refrigerator and use it again for another recipe. Now we're going to get started on this onion. Again, I'm only going to use half of the onion because we don't need too much. Of course with onion, I start by cutting the ends off, then I cut it straight down the middle and remove that outer layer of skin because you don't want to cook that. Then you're going to cut the onion into thin strips like so. And once you cut it into thin strips, you can turn it on the side and begin to dice the onion just like we did the celery and the bell pepper. Once the onion is all nice and finely diced, we're going to place it right in the bowl with the other veggies. And here we have our holy trinity of veggies. Next, we're going to get going with this instant pot. This is what makes this recipe so much faster than traditional red beans and rice. You're going to want to use your pressure cooker or your instant pot. They're the same thing. Go ahead and add some butter and add some oil and then saute your veggies for about two to three minutes. While your veggies are sauteing, we're going to get going on this beef smoked sausage. Again, I'm only going to use half because I have the smoked neck bones as well, which is a lot of meat, just enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rope sausage in half, and then we're going to cut that half in half, and then just begin to slice it into coins. The coins are about a quarter inch thick. We want them all to be just about the same size. So if you can help it, just eyeball it, try to make them each about the same size. That way when we saute them, they all get a nice brown sauteed char on each side. So just continue to cut this half of the sausage until you get them all sliced into coins like we're doing here. That other half of sausage, just like the bell pepper, I'm going to go ahead and store in a baggie in the refrigerator so that I can use it again later for another recipe. 
Now we're going to add the sausage directly in with the veggies and we want to saute it for another two to three minutes. What we're going for here is to get the sausage nice and brown on each side. So go ahead and place it in there with the veggies and stir it around. Once the sausage is nice and browned, we're going to go ahead and add our soaked beans and our water directly into the Instant Pot. I went ahead and added some more water because of course the beans are going to absorb a lot of that. Then you're going to add your seasonings. I have the link to the full recipe in the description box so that you can see everything that's here. I know it goes a little bit fast. Then I'm adding a chicken bouillon directly in and we're going to stir that all together so that it's nice and fully incorporated. Next, you're going to add in two of those smoked neck bones. These add the most amazing flavor to these red beans and rice. Go ahead and put the lid on and we're gonna set it on the beans chili mode and we're going to set it for 45 minutes. This is going to be the first cook, okay? It's going to cook again after this and I'll show you everything. After the first 45 minutes, this is what the red beans and rice are looking like. Still looks so delicious, but we're gonna go ahead and cook it one more time. Those neck bones are already falling off the bones, so we're gonna go ahead and remove as many of the bones as we can. Try to get them all out of there, y'all. Get those bones out of there, just keep the meat in, and you can discard the bones. Once you get all of those bones out of there, you're gonna put the lid back on and cook it again for another 45 minutes and it is done. Listen to the steam coming out and we're gonna pop that lid open and this is what we have y'all. Some delicious red beans and rice. Go ahead and put it on the saute mode one more time and it's gonna thicken up. I like to mash the beans just a little bit to help it thicken within its own juices. It is so perfect. Then you're going to go ahead and plate it up. You see how thick it got y'all? As it sits for a little bit, it gets thicker and that's what we want. Serve it up in a bowl. I'm going to go ahead and clean the side for presentation purposes. And of course, we have to add some rice. We topped it with some green onions. You can top it with parsley. We like to eat our red beans and rice with some sweet honey butter cornbread. It is so amazing. This is a full meal in and of itself, you guys. Or it can be your favorite side dish. With all of the meats that we added, the hearty beans, it's definitely a standalone meal. You will not miss with this recipe. It's the perfect side dish. It's the perfect meal. Like I said, the full recipe link is in the description box at RazzleDazzleLife.com. Enjoy!